What's up, Internet? My name's Ori. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. You like this video? Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell. You'll never miss a video. You'll never miss a stream. Today, we're going over the Big Brother 25th anniversary celebration. Though it technically wasn't the 25th anniversary celebration. It's like the 25th season. But anyway, it was really cool. It aired last night, and it was just kind of a retrospective, almost a documentary on Big Brother the show, uh, and I really enjoyed it. Uh, we're gonna break down uh, a lot of the things that were happening, so much to talk about, uh, inside info. We also got a sneak peek at the BB25 house, which we'll take a look at, as well as something that we've noticed that may give a hint to what kind of twist is coming up for this season. Uh, and plus we'll talk about the schedule, uh, everything that's gonna be going on, my schedule for the coverage of bb25 this year uh, we've got a lot to go over uh so let's just try to jump into the episode again i love this this was so much fun seeing all of the old house guests come on back uh we had uh janelle we had members of the cookout like tiffany and hannah xavier uh we had uh df uh, and then we had Azo, uh, we had uh, uh, Kaser, Cody, Derek, uh, Jeff, and Jordan. Uh, Danielle Reyes came back uh, to talk about Big Brother. Reggie Grande uh, was there too. Uh, Rachel and Brendan, and of course uh, Taylor, who was the sinner, uh, the winner of last season. Uh, so it was really interesting to see uh, all of them talk about not just their favorite moments from inside the house, but. Uh, things that happened on the show that they loved and just uh, all the really cool kind of behind the scenes stuff. Uh, they, for the first time, I think officially on the show, we've heard it in interviews and we all kind of know that things like lockdown happens and we don't get to see everything because sometimes the cameras are down and they're not allowed to talk about game, but little juicy infos get slipped out uh, when those cameras are off for a little bit sometimes. Uh, so it was cool to see that kind of thing acknowledged. They talked about some of the greatest competitions uh, in Big Brother history, and it was just a really cool walk down memory lane. I enjoyed every minute of this uh, special, and I really hope they do more things like this. I'd like to see a full-on retrospective on the original season one, before it was even the game we know today. I want to bring back as many of the people from that season, people who worked on the show, cast members, bring them back. Let's hear from them what they have to say, different stories uh, from the, the series, and then go each season next by next, right? Bring back people from season two and three. We saw a little bit of that uh, on uh, MTV. They brought back people from the real world, and they were doing little reunions. It'd be really cool if they did that something like that with Big Brother, because it, it was amazing uh, to watch all this go down. I was also really happy... They didn't just focus on the new stuff. It wasn't just all about things that happened recently on Big Brother. They were going all the way back in history. Things like on Big Brother 2 and the final three, finding out about the tragic uh, events of 9-11 was just one of the most uh, chilling and moving moments of television when they were the last people in the world to find out uh, about those events. Uh, everything in between, all of the the fights, the the marriages, the kids, uh, amazing show. Uh, we also got uh, Julie herself talking about her time on the show, uh, how long she's been there. She's been a staple of the series. One thing that I found really interesting was not only did she originally turn it down, she wasn't the first choice uh, to be the host. The original choice was Meredith Vieira. Many people probably know her from The View. She hosted uh, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire for a while as well. Uh, but she was the original choice to be the host. Uh, and what a, what a different world that would be if it wasn't Julie. It was Meredith Vieira uh, who was saying, but first. <laughs> it would be a completely different show. Uh, but it was really cool uh, to hear all of this uh, great, great history of Big Brother. And I'm glad that they showed the show respect of all the seasons, not just what happened recently. They didn't shy away from things that I thought they would, even like Chilltown, even though there's a restraining order in that now. That's a whole different story. Uh, but yeah, it was absolutely amazing. Now, the next thing I want to jump into is this. <laughs> This is the Big Brother 25 house, and it looks amazing. 
the the wood and the blue and the the white couch it's going to get dirty real quick that thing's going to be disgusting but it looks amazing uh, a very nautical theme i i thought of like nautica the brand and it just i love it i love everything about it you've got the uh uh telescope there on uh the table kind of like shellish looking things there so it definitely looks like they're kind of going with this you know nautical but also you can see through the fake windows that they have there uh trees so like a cabin in the woods uh so just a really amazing looking house so far just from this first sneak peek uh we got a couple of other really cool shots here another, another view of uh that living room you can see the couches there two nomination chairs you never know there could be a, a love seat that's put in there where three people can sit on it but it does look like it's just two nomination chairs so that's something to look forward to. Uh, you got the diary room doors and the and the DR session. There's something else in this picture, but we'll get back to it. There's a couple more picks I want to get to some different angles. Uh, here's looking from uh, the other side, like if you were standing next to the uh, diary room door looking up up there, you have kind of where uh, they have outside of the HOH room where they play pool and kind of chill up there in the little balcony. Uh, and then kind of toward that front door there behind where it says 113 microphones, 90 cameras. Uh, and uh, there's, again, something else in this picture uh, that we'll talk about in just a second here. Here we have that little room up top of the balcony outside of the HOH room. They've got the bumper pool back up there, a uh, little uh, lounge for them to kind of uh, chill and relax. People will be having conversations in the HOH room. People will be outside here waiting to go in to have conversations. So we'll see a lot of this room as well on the feeds. Uh, another little angle there showing you that window where you can see out into the living room, which is kind of nice. Uh, because that will be a window where you'll be able to see if people are up there or if people are down below. Maybe that can come into play a little bit more on people like looking to see who's where. Uh, so uh, that'll be a lot of fun. But I want to head back to this picture. Because do you guys see it? Over here in the corner. What is that silver machine with the white tube coming out the top? What is that? Anybody have an idea? I've heard people say a water cooler. I've heard people say it looks kind of like a fireplace. Uh, I'll, I'll give you what my opinion is. It looks like those air tubes, those pneumatic air tubes that you use when you go to like the ATM or, or uh, not the ATM, but a bank teller. When you're going to the drive through, they'll send the tube through. You put your card in your check that you sign. You put it in the tube. You close it up and it goes whoop, and goes into the bank to the teller. To me, it looks kind of like that, uh, but I'm not 100% sure. We have a closer look of it here, uh, kind of uh, getting a, a little bit better of a view there. What do you think this thing is here? And then uh, here is that tube on the back of it. So it's definitely like some kind of separate device that's sitting there. Does that go up to the HOH room? Is that something that's going to be uh, delivering messages into the house? Like what? is this for it's definitely something that's going to be useful in the house i don't think it's just regular decoration uh i mean i'm i i don't i don't know what that could be if it's not some sort of uh game related item uh but it's definitely interesting it has my interest what do you guys think this is let me know in those comments down below uh and then uh the other thing i want to talk to you guys about is the schedule so we are one week away. So uh, Big Brother will begin August 2nd, uh, next Wednesday. Uh, it'll be at 8 uh, p.m. It's a 90-minute premiere. It's a live move-in. We will have live feeds that night. Uh, after the episode, probably starts around 9, uh, uh, or not 9, but uh, midnight on the East Coast uh, is probably when they'll be uh, live sometime after the West Coast airing of the episode. Uh, we will then have over on my kick channel a live 12 hour stream we'll be watching uh the the live feeds kind of all day just checking them out uh seeing what's up uh on there but uh we'll kind of end before the episode uh one of my other buddies uh bruno uh from big brother canada heels actually will be streaming the episode so we'll be able to watch it we'll uh head on over to him afterwards uh after that episodes will be on sundays uh and also on thursdays we'll have episodes so uh sunday wednesday thursday 
will be your episode order for the week. Uh, and uh, then about midway through, we don't know exactly when, but you can see here, once fall arrives, everything will change. Uh, there's not an exact date yet, likely midway. Uh, likely mid to late September, but after CBS launches its fall season, uh, this is what will happen to Big Brother. Sunday's episodes will move back to two hours, uh, back two hours to 10 p.m., which is going to be super late. But with the football games on, they kind of pushing it back. And then uh, that way uh, it doesn't have to be like interrupting. You come like halfway through the episode because the football game went into overtime. Wednesday's episodes will move to Tuesdays. Uh, and then uh, that will make for uh, Survivor and the Amazing Race, which will be on Wednesday. Uh, and then Thursdays will move up to 8 o'clock uh, instead of 9 o'clock. Uh, but that will come later on in the season. But that's just a, a thing to keep in mind for the beginning part of the year. Sun, uh, Sundays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays will be your episode's dates. The first episode is next Wednesday. You're going to want to follow here because we will have live feed updates every day, kind of going over everything that's happening inside the Big Brother house. Uh, we'll have uh, recaps of the episodes as well as we'll be doing uh, live streams over on Kick and Twitch, kind of hanging out with you guys, talking about the, the episodes uh, and uh, probably watching a lot of the feeds a little bit over on Kick. So you're going to want to follow that, follow the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new here, hit that subscribe button. You like this video, hit that like button, hit that notification bell. So you never miss a video. You never miss a stream. Uh, once again, this is going to be an amazing season. I'm excited already. This house just looks uh, amazing. I can't wait to see uh, what the house guests uh, uh, are like uh, and, and meet them. We'll probably get them sometime. In the beginning of next week, I expect to get more house picks uh, probably this weekend. So look out for a video where we'll be breaking all of that down. And once we get a cast, we will have a cast uh, reveal reaction where we'll go over the cast and kind of talk about uh, who we like, who we don't, what, we, what we're thinking of the cast. So make sure you're following for all that. Make sure you're following over on Twitch and Kick uh, for the live streams where we'll be talking about Big Brother as well during the season. Uh, I can't wait to watch this season with, with you all. And I will see you next time.